James Beard, a famous chef and food enthusiast, once said, if we had no alliums, we would still have food, but there would be no cuisine. Welcome to the Niels Homestead, and today we're going to be talking about the difference between onion sets and onion plants. This is a common thing that people question, and I wanted to take a moment to discuss with you the difference between onion plants and onion sets, because there are some uh, significant differences in growing onions and what, what these are used for. So there are primarily two common ways of growing onions for eating. There are onion plants and onion sets, and they have some differences about them that I think are important. And I'm going to try to explain to you as we go along why they are that way. Um, some background information on onions real quick is that one important factor figuring into this is that they are primarily biennials, meaning that they produce seeds on the second year of their life. Um, that's important to why these plants are different. One other important consideration is that the variety you choose needs to be geared towards the area in which you live as far as your day length. They have three different length onions. They're short day, long day, and intermediate day. And it varies depending on how far north and south you are. I'm primarily going to be focusing on the United States, but if you live elsewhere, you could extrapolate this to where you are as well. So first off, let's take a look at them appearance-wise. Right away you can see that they look very different. These are green and growing and alive, and these are like baby onions that you might buy in the store. They, they look dry, and they are. So these are actually already one year old. These were planted this year. That's your first major difference. Um, these are planted in the fall, grown a little bit, and then the cool weather kills the tops off, and then they're harvested and kept until the following spring. Our onion plants are usually planted from seed down south. Uh, our particular ones come from a farm in Texas and they plant them in early to mid winter and they grow until it's our time to be uh, shipped out to. Where they ship, when, um, they have a chart for it in their book. You can figure out by your zip code approximately where you are in that. The particular farm we get them from is Dixondale Farms in Texas. We've used them for many years. We're very happy with them. Um, they've always provided us with good onions. One of the first things that you run into comparing these two is availability. Uh, onion sets are available everywhere in the springtime. Grocery stores, farm stores. You can find these very easily. And that's primarily because of shelf life. They keep for several weeks in a store setting, and so it's easy for them to get the product in, have it for a while, move it out. Uh, these are not so available. You have to go to more specialty greenhouse places or order them online or directly from the grower of them. Okay, so down to some of the practical things about these. The onion sets are very easy to plant. You just poke them in the ground till their little tops sticking out. They grow. Um, they're good to eat as green onions. They also will grow into uh, onion bulbs if you leave them long enough, a lot of the time anyway. The onion plants also work as green onions, but they really do a very good job of making bulbs. That brings us also to the other point. These are two years old. Onions are biennials. A lot of these are going to go to seed. They'll send up a seed stalk, and what that does is it uses up the plant's energy, so it makes a smaller bulb, and then you have a seed stalk going right down through the middle of the bulb, which causes it to go bad more quickly, and uh, it doesn't keep as long. These will occasionally send up a seed stalk, uh, but there's a lot fewer of them. They make much larger bulbs overall for the same variety, because they're only one year old. On our farm, we've grown thousands and thousands of onions to sell, we're not a huge grower, but we have a small farmer's market business, and they are our first crop to go in every spring. Surprisingly early, before spring is even really here, we always are worried about the ground being too wet and everything. But 
Uh, we usually plant them about the first of March, first week or so of March, and we have a video here that of us planting them this year. And one of the reasons we plant them so early is because they, they take a long time to grow, and interesting thing about onions is every uh, stalk on top, every leaf, makes a layer of the onion. So the bigger you can get the tops before they start making bulbs, the bigger your bulb will be. One other big difference is variety. Whenever you buy onion plants, generally you can know what variety they are and you can choose uh, from a wider range of varieties. Uh, whereas if you buy the onion sets, they almost never tell you what variety they are. They just tell you that they're yellow or red or white. And so if that's important to you, then it can give you some variety and you can try different things. The variety we usually grow are candy onions. They're really sweet. They get very large. Um, we usually start harvesting them when they start getting big, and then we do the mass harvest whenever the tops start dying down. And that's usually about the 4th of July every year. It's a really busy time for us. One other thing my research indicated is that if you plant a round one, you will get kind of a flat, flatter onion. Oh. A more like teardrop shaped one, you'll get a rounder onion. So thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful to you and informative. Hope you learned something about onions. See you next time.